to the Gwaii Theatre. My name is Simon Danes. Um, you won't have heard of me, but uh, this is brought to you this evening by the team who do the Bedford Who Charity Con. And the last one was in April, and I think recognising a lot of faces, a lot of you were there. And the next one is next April, so please, please, please take a flyer, and please do come along to that, because it's, it's, it's excellent. Um, the evening is in aid of Bedford Food Bank, so I'll just do the model bit very quickly. Um, Bedford Food Bank is an organisation which is part of the national network of food banks. And in Bedford and the local area, I'm one of the volunteers, we feed between 500 and 600 children and adults every month who would otherwise go hungry. It seems pretty extraordinary in the 21st century that there are people in this country who don't have enough to eat, but unfortunately it is true. So thank you very much for coming and thank you very much for your support for the event. Um, all the money will go to the food bank that we raise on the tickets and we're very grateful to that. To you for that. And we're also extremely grateful to welcome Mike Tucker, um, who's very kindly given up his time this evening. Mike's also published uh, the new book. No, he hasn't published it. He wrote it. He co-wrote it. And it's published by what? what? Random House. Random House. It's published not by Royal Flight. It's published by Random House. Um, if you missed the signing in Waterstones this afternoon, you'll be pleased to hear that copies are available um, this evening. And if you want to get Mike to uh, sign a copy for you at the end of the afternoon, at the end of the evening, then um, uh, we'll be able to sort that out for you. So we'll ha I'll hand over to Mike in just a minute. In case of a fire, which is extremely unlikely, my suggestion is you go outside. <laughs> there we are, that's the safety bit done. Um, I'm also grateful to my colleagues who are members of the Bedford Doc Sock. Uh, which is the Doctor Who Society that meets in Bedford. And we meet on the first Tuesday of every month um, in the pub. So that would be good to see you. And I'd also like to thank um, Bedford School, who are very kindly letting us use this venue. And they're not charging us either, which is great. So that's another contribution to the Food Bank. Um, thanks very much to Bedford School, to the staff of the Quarry Theatre, particularly Katie and Jules, who've worked so hard for this. There's a buffet over there, so after Mike's finished speaking and we've done the Q&A and there's an informed bit afterwards where you can have a drink and an informal chat, please do eat lots of food. Um, if you feel, it is free, but if you feel moved to add, uh, stick a couple of quid in the buckets to offset the costs, then it helps my bank balance and I'd be very grateful for that. Um, for Bedford, I'm nearly finished. For Bedford Who Charity Con 2, which is next April, uh, we're selling some Doctor Who memorabilia um, over there, we're near where Victoria, who's dressed as Romana, is standing. Thank you. So please do buy lots of things from that, and that will offset our costs for Bedford Who Charity Con too. And then the more we make on that stall, the lower the ticket prices will be, possibly. So thanks very much for that. And if at the end of the evening you feel very moved uh, by the experience that you've had from our wonderful speaker this evening. Um, you may wish to make an extra contribution to Bedford Food Bank, and I will be standing around with a bucket. So if you wish to put money into the bucket, then please do. So without further ado, Mr. Mike Tucker of the Modern Unit. Mike's worked on Doctor Who since 1980, 1985. And your, the last story Mark, Mike even, worked on was Time of the Doctor with Matt Smith and uh, introducing Peter Capaldi. So here he is. Mike, thanks so much for coming. Thanks. Over to you. Certainly. Um, the back. Okay. Um, that was um, what's my favourite effect that I've done. 
It's tricky because, as you can see from what I do, the range of what I do is huge. But I'm going to pick three. Um, it's the time of the Doctor, it's the sequence I've just shown you, just because technically it's amongst the best things I've ever done. The 50th anniversary, the TARDIS coming through the wall into all the Daleks, for a number of reasons. One, as a Doctor <coughs> Who fan who's 50 years old, to work on the 50th anniversary show and win a BAFTA for it was extraordinary. And Hiroshima, which was my first BAFTA, um, for something that I'd just done just outside of the, of the realms of the BBC and I was sort of on my own. So those three, I think, are, are amongst my favourites. But to be honest, over the 30 years, there are so many lovely <coughs> moments that I could pick, but I think Any I could questions? go those. No, good. That's the end of the inverted commas formal part of the evening. Um, you will notice that this is a bar and it's still open, so we hope very much that you'd like to stay and have a drink and possibly an informal chat with Mike. I hope very much that you're going to want to buy loads of stuff from over there to help offset our costs. And copies of my book. Charity Con 2. And Mike has got copies of this, Doctor Who Impossible Worlds, which I was browsing through um, or flicking through over a cup of tea this afternoon. It's certainly something that needs a great deal of uh, time spent going through. This is, I would buy a copy for the coffee table and a copy for the loo. I might sign both of them for you personally. Um, and we've got copies available of that. Uh, do I need to say anything else? And eat food as well, please. Oh, and eat food as well. Time. But please do stay. We're, we're, the, the evening is not over yet. However, the only other thing that does remain is to say, Mike, thank you so much. Thank you. Mike was such a glutton of punishment that he said he'd be interested in coming to bed for two charity con two. So that will be three times of Mike in 13 months. Thank you.